when you look at these pictures, what comes to mind? Execution might be one of those things when you think of when you see these, and you're absolutely correct. Capital punishment is one of the most widely disputed subjects yet today. Since 1976, there has been an alarming 156 people that have been freed from death row because of proven innocence. The most recent was just last year in October. Last year alone, 28 executions were carried out successfully, and this year there's already been nine. The information I, have, I am providing you with today comes from credible sources such as the Death Penalty Information Center and the University of Michigan. To get a better understanding, I pulled the class using multiple choice questions. What I found was that about 60% of the class does not believe in, use, in the use of death penalty as a form of corporal punishment. 40%, 47% of the class believes that 1,000 to 1,500 executions have been carried out since 1976, which is absolutely correct. There have been 1,431 executions carried out since 1976. At the height of it is 98 in 1998. 74% of the class also believes that there is an issue with race, racial discrimination within the death penalty. And on this chart, you can see that there is a large number. This right here is the large number of white people that are the victims. And this is black people. This is Hispanic people. And this is the amount of white people that are actually executed every year. This is black people. This is Hispanic people. And this small little portion is other. I'm going to provide you with the steps that are taken to carry out an execution. As you can imagine, it is a very in-depth process to ensure all possibilities of innocence prior. The first steps are the trials. Within these trials, there are three main ones known as the pre-trial, the guilt phase trial, and the penalty phase trial. The pre-trial pre phase is when the evidence is all gathered, witnesses are brought forth, and, and suspects are gathered, and an arrest is typically made. The arraignment is the first time that the defendant is brought into the court, and it is the first step in the prosecution. The preliminary, pl preliminary hearing is the deciding point if, the, if there's sufficient ev evidence to prosecute. The grand jury comes next, which is a body of 23 peers to decide if the evidence is enough to charge the person with the crime. Once the indictment is made, which is the decision of the jury, they need to announce that they intend to seek the death penalty if they are found guilty. The guilt phase trial follows the pretrial. A very selected jury is executed to be certain that they are death qualified for a trial. After the prosecution and defendant plead their cases, the judge recites the closing statements. If the jury reaches a verdict, the judge reads the verdict to the court. If they are found guilty, the next step is the penalty phase trial. In the penalty phase trial, they discuss previous criminal charges, the number of victims, and if there are any facts to make the crime even worse. Steps are approached to be certain that the defendant has no men mental impairments or deprived background, which would subsequently reduce the penalty out of the death row. If a victim statement or witness statements are available, they are read off at this point. The jury sentence recommendations are also read and the judge sentences the defendant. The appeals and reviews process are next in the court stages, first being the direct appeal, which would require new evidence for it to even start and to prove the already guilty innocent. Dependent upon the state, you could be required to do this with, within as few as three weeks. At this point, they may motion for a new trial. A post-conviction review is to follow where the defendant may bring issues up that weren't reflected in the record. During this review, a petition to the state's highest criminal court can be made. Sentences can be compared to the one at hand and eliminate any differences there may be. Federal habeas corpus follows with more appeals and an evidentiary hearing, which is similar to a trial. The judge can ultimately deny this hearing. Once all the petition and petitions and reviews are done, clemency is next. Clemency is reviewed to see if the courts reduce the punishment. 
The governor makes this decision with the assistant of a board or a panel. After all these steps, execution is ultimate, ultimately the next step. The first step in execution is death row. Death row holds all of the prisoners that have been sentenced to death row. A death warrant is issued at that point and signed by a judge or a governor, which provides the date of the execution. It is then served to the attorneys or the defendants themselves. They are typically kept on a 24-hour suicide watch prior to the execution. Then the execution is carried out. There are several different types of execution dependent upon the state. The types are lethal injection, which is the most popular, the electrocution or the electric chair, lethal gas, hanging, or a firing squad. In conclusion, there is a very lengthy process involved with the death penalty. The four steps we covered are trial, appeal, and review, clemency, and execution. Capital punishment is still active in the United States and is the most severe punishment by law. On average, the waiting period on death row is currently 15 years. Thank you.